Hello! It is March 1st. It is later in the evening. I am just gonna freshen up because I am going out tonight. First, I have dinner with my agent and my manager. I believe we're gonna have sushi, so really excited about that. I love me some sushi. Uh, and then we're gonna go to the Lancome and Vanity Fair party. That's gonna be at the Soho house. I think it's gonna be more of a swankier event, so I need to get all glamoured up. I'm gonna start with my hair first. This is day two hair. I'm using this dry shampoo. This is by L'Oreal Fresh Dust, but I'm literally out. This will definitely go to my empties. Do you guys wanna see an empties video? Like, I, I feel like I've, I've saved all my trash for you guys. Uh, so let me know if you guys wanna see it. This is my huge bag full of empties, along with other trash too. Sorry, Chicky hears this and she thinks it's someone coming. Hello, baby. Oh, you're so cute. So I'm finally gonna bust out this orange number. So this is my dress for the evening. It is this orange sparkly number from NBD. I've been saving this for a rainy day because it's like, I don't know, it's like a cute going out dress, but I had no occasion to wear it except for tonight. Before my makeup, I just kind of went all out with the orange theme. I've got orange on my lids, cheeks, and lips. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking for a makeup tutorial for my February favorites, speaking portion, and so I've been practicing and I feel like I, I think I got it down. So prepare for this makeup look. I think it's gonna be out before this video, so I'll leave it in the cards. I hope you do this, future Jen. It is a full moon tonight. All right, here we are at Roku. Happy Friday. Today is a very gloomy and rainy day here in Los Angeles and it's actually very refreshing to have this weather. It's freaking amazing and it's awesome because I don't actually have to be outside so I'm very excited about that. I really don't like being outside when it rains. Rain is only fun when you're indoors, cozy and not wearing any pants. This morning I already had a workout. Amy and I went to Sweat Garage and it was back in arms day so hopefully I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. My armpits are still sore from Barry's boot camp so I just I guess we're just focusing on this area here uh, last night was amazing it was so fun uh, Roku sushi is so delicious I highly recommend it the fish is so fresh and it's just a really cool ambiance like Zendaya was sitting right next to us for a long time and uh, we didn't say anything but it was just cool that she was like right there uh, the party was super fun it was great getting to see some familiar faces and I just love the Soho house normally you're not allowed to take photos or videos there but because it was a Vanity Fair and Lancome night uh, you were able to document so yeah we like to see the space and it was a good time. Uh, but now I am just going to continue editing the video for Sunday and just enjoy this gloomy weather. Everybody. I'm here with Karen. Hi guys. We just filmed a video together. Uh, we did it in her beautiful little set studio right over here. This is the real deal, guys. Yeah, I'm at Karen's beautiful home. Can well, I show yeah, a little bit? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. You know what this means? What does that mean? It means Hero is humping this. Ew! <laughs> oh my god, get out! Jeez, you know, Chiki has never humped anything. Wow. Yeah. I think I have like a really like dog. I am here with Danny, my new roommate for the week. Yes. I'm so lucky. <laughs> I'm the lucky one. We're here. We're here at Disneyland. We're going to the opening ceremony fashion show tonight. It's at Disneyland. So sick. Toontown. 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 
best in the world. Thursday. I'm going to Malibu, which is quite a far journey from here. I'm going to a La Mer event, and when a skincare line as exquisite as La Mer invites you, you definitely go. Uh, Malibu is, uh, it's gonna take me an hour to get there, so I'm glad I got some music and some podcasts on my phone, so this is gonna be a bit of a road trip. Avec les ans, because the mic, but then after I bought two more cameras, I was like, actually this is the best out of the all the other cameras I got, so I repurchased oh. this camera. Wait, is that the one that Jesse showed you? Yeah, he, yeah. he recommended this one, with this lens. Thanks for squeezing me in a week before, like, or a couple days. Just a couple days. Yeah. We're still on track. Yeah. For the wedding hair. I know. <laughs> We're just I'm a little jittery, I'm a little nervous. We both yeah. got presentations I today. Know, I know. Jen wrote, uh, where's your script, bro? Be what? prepared. What is this? How many? I know. It, this, is, this is what 20 minutes looks like. Oh, I love you. Woo! So this is Riley helping me with the eggy pop-up shop. We got all this inventory of real life eggy clothes. I can't wait to see all these stuff on you guys. Wow, I've got the K-Tank here. I've got the holiday cozy cardigan, the late shift trouser, my personal favorite. And they even brought a poster. This is legit. This is part of the brand new collection that is dropping on March 15th. Back at home, this is truly the best feeling ever. My Postmates just arrived. I got the classic kimchi jjigae. Got a little bit of rice. Got a little bit of panchan. It's a lot, I'm so excited. I just got back home from the very first ever Rare Day and it went so well. I feel super inspired and I can't believe the Rare team executed that. It was such a well done event. Um, I got to meet so many of you guys. I got to meet everybody in the room. Yes, some kimchi jjigae, 
some Wally -E TV. <laughs> ah, okay. Wow, look how shiny my forehead is. But damn. I just wanted to talk more about today. I feel like when I was eating my kimchi jjigae, I was like too much of... I was like still kind of on a high from the event. But I've calmed down now and... Let me just first say that I was so nervous before that talk. I had prepared this talk pretty much the entire week. I had a full on script. So this is how I work. If I don't have a script and I don't feel prepared, then I just know that I'm not gonna perform well. I'm really bad at just winging things. Uh, I wish I was more, I wish I was better at improv and just, you know, making stuff up as I go. But I think the Virgo in me, likes this. It likes a script. I'm really proud that I did this presentation because I definitely would have not said yes two years ago. So I remember last year I made it a promise to do things that expanded uh, my comfort zone and talking in front of 200 people is definitely out outside my comfort zone. So I'm really happy that I did it. Honestly, like 30 minutes before, I thought I was gonna throw up. But once I got on that stage, I just looked at my friends in the front row and it gave me a, a confidence that I didn't know that I had. And I think, and I feel really proud that I did this because public speaking is not my favorite thing to do, not at all. Like, you know how some people, when they go on a stage, they just light up. That is not me. I feel like. I don't know, I just feel like an inside out worm on stage and it's bizarre, but I just faked it till I made it. I just feel like this talk was a small victory for me because every time I do something that I don't want to do, but I know that I should do, it makes me feel more comfortable. And I definitely would have not done this in the past. And now I feel pretty confident. Like the fact that I didn't throw up on the stage and freak out is huge. I've got the temperature for you. A ton of sweets. Over here, we've got all of Bliss's products. This is one of my favorites, actually. This is hilarious. Like, at first you're like, what the hell is this? But this is actually a face cleanser, and you wet it up in your hand, and then it lathers up, and you just use it on your face, and it cleanses so well, very thorough. So I just got back home and I'm dealing with this right now. I feel like this happens every trip. I pack, I come back, and then I have to sort through it all. And a part of me is, I mean one part of me likes cleaning, but today I just feel like I have so much to do. Uh, but yeah, I am back from Utah. I am back from the Bliss event and today was actually the day that we launched the Eggy Festival Collection Drop. I'm so excited and proud of this one so if you guys haven't checked it out please check the description box to check out the collection and also the video. The team at LR Creative really outdid themselves and I think this video is incredible. I don't want to toot my own horn but I have an amazing team. I just feel kind of scatterbrained because I just got back from the trip and I haven't had any time to decompress because literally we got home at around, I want to say around like 10.30, 10.45 and then um, I had to pick up Cheeky from my parents' house. So I didn't get to sleep until like 1. Uh, but yeah, I am going to clean this mess up. So let's get started. all done yeah what's up guys I am signing off thank you so much for watching the video I feel like there were so many events in this vlog I'm editing it and I'm just like damn I really went to a lot of stuff the past couple of weeks uh, but yeah thank you so much for watching I need to show you guys Cheeky's new haircut before I go because I think she's so freaking cute look at her she looks like a puppy 
Hi. Do you want to say goodbye to the vlog? Goodbye. Love you. Say goodbye. Goodbye.